All right, let us kick off how to build a SaaS startup in one day without any code. It's a challenge, but I know you can do it. Before you go into this, you need to understand that there's two reasons why people buy products. There's two areas, B2B startups and B2C startups. Let's speak about them very quickly. In B2B space, it's quite easy. Help people make money, help people save money, or help people save time. Think about it. If you're a company, those are the three things that matter to you the most. And if you're in the customer space, if you're a B2C space, then it's straightforward as well in terms of things you need to tackle. Help people save their social status or reputation. Go ahead and help people live a certain type of life. That can be a meditation app or so on and so forth. Or help people with entertainment. Look at Netflix or any of the other tools that are out there to help people have a good time. Group on and so on and so forth. So now that we know those two areas, let's actually look at building up a very straightforward product that helps me go ahead and save my money, especially if I'm targeting a teenager space. Let's just go with a, a basic example. Now, before we jump into it, there's certain elements involved when we're actually building this particular type of product. We're going to be looking at actually every stage, like I said in this video, from coming up with the idea to going ahead and actually getting some initial user bases, getting some excitement, then actually getting those customers, getting them to use the product, and then maybe seeing if we can get some money out of them. Now, there are some subscriptions involved when we're gonna do this, but honestly, it is nothing compared to actually hiring a full-on developer and taking the risk of actually building a startup that might not work. Now, with that said, let us kick off into the first step. The first thing we're gonna be doing is we're going to go ahead and use a product called Card that's gonna help us build our website. Now, you can use Webflow as well for this, but I'm choosing Card because it's simple. The other thing we're gonna be doing is once Card is there, I'm gonna integrate it to that MailChimp. MailChimp is gonna help me go ahead and collect email addresses for people interested in my particular product. And if I'm interested, I'm also gonna go ahead and connect whenever I get an email, get a ping to my Slack. Um, messages service. Now, once that's done, the second phase is we're actually going to go ahead and build an application, a drag and drop product that is actually going to go ahead and be usable, deployable to the iOS and Android app store, all without any code. That being said, this is the part of the video we're going to speak about. The next segment, you're going to see me go ahead and share a screen. And then right after that, we're going to talk about how to actually go ahead and grow this product, get some customers using your product, get some people excited about what you're doing. All right. All right. So we're going to kick off. So what you see over here is a pre-filled piece of information. I'll explain all that. Don't worry. So we've got card.co. I've used card because it's a very straightforward software. It helps and it helps me go ahead and uh, build a no code tool quite fast. So if you go to card.io, you're going to experience something like this yourself. You can go ahead and select a particular product that you want to use a landing page. So you can actually just go ahead and find a particular uh, template that you want to work with. Yeah, so I'm just going to ask myself to be logged in. So as soon as I logged in, I pretty much went ahead and selected the landing page filter and I selected this particular template. Now uh, the template was uh, gradient filled, but I didn't want the gradient. So I got rid of it. The easiest way you can do that is pretty much just click on the background and you will be able to select what type you want gradient image so on and so forth now just to explain the whole format of how this product is going to work i'm just not throwing you into this card is going to be the website that we're going to use to go ahead and launch and gather some audiences people put in their email addresses we'll use something like uh, mailchimp to go ahead and actually collect those email addresses we're going to use something like zapier which i'll explain all to you very soon uh, that will help us go ahead and connect uh, non-connected projects together or apps together and then we're going to use a tool like uh, smart writer to go ahead and help us get some copy and then right after that we're going to actually build our full app to go ahead and get people using it now the app that we're building as you can see from the copy that i've written is around teenage finance management now there's enough finance management tools out there but we're taking a position for just specific teenage audiences and i think it's got a good niche for us given the space that the world is moving to right now now, for actually creating the copy, I've used a tool called Smart Writer. Pretty much all I did was use this thing called the IDA framework. The IDA framework is an agile and very classical marketing framework that helps uh, und go under the process of having collecting someone's attention, then collecting their interest, collecting their desire, and then collecting their attention. Collecting is the wrong word, but gathering this. So when we gather their attention, we know what they want, then we derive them into their desire, and then right after that, get the intention of uh, what we want for them or the interest that we want to uh, bring into them and then ask them to take a particular action. So I've chosen some coffee that I really like out of this combination that we've got. And then if you go to card, you can see, are you a teenager looking to save more money? Nice bold headline. Right out of that, there's a story that we've built. You know, we build software that makes it fun to get your financial life together. If you're looking to get smart about the culture of your youth, you're looking to make more money, money management party, then you can use Teen Budget, which is what this app is going to be called. We show you how to save money on habits that waste money and time, like making coffee plants that never happen, so on and so forth. And then right, we've got a nice bold action form that says, get started today. While you, we won't need our help forever, it's a nice little emotional play where we say once you're out of college, you can start saving the world. 
Uh, I've gone ahead and added an input field uh, where you can simply just do that by clicking the plus button and then go hang ahead and clicking on uh, contact forms. So as soon as you go ahead and do that, you will get this little embedded section over here and it's happy days for you. So let's go ahead and get that in. Now that it's inside, right after that, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is going to be a sign up form for me. So this is a contact form or a sign up form. I've chosen it to be a sign up form. And then right after that, you've got that mail provider. Uh, we've selected MailChimp for this case, which is going to be name and email. Now you see there's two questions popping over here saying add your API key and your audience ID. Now, if you go to MailChimp, first thing they're going to ask you to do is to go ahead and sign up to MailChimp. So once you do that, just you know, pause this video, go sign up to your MailChimp. You should be good to go. Uh, and then right after that, you should be thrown into like an audience page. So you'll be thrown straight over here, right? So once you're thrown over here, what you're going to do is come back to card, click on this little form over here. That's going to take you to a particular page about API keys. An API key is nothing but a way or lock, uh, a key to get access to another website without necessarily getting your username and password. Now you're just going to click on this and that's going to take you to the API keys page. And once you're here, it's going to say, all right, you want to go get an API key. As you can see over here, I've just generated an API key. You need to, you will not see this. You want to probably want to go ahead and generate yours. So I'm going to use this. Don't worry. This is all going to be deleted when this video is live. So I'm going to just say pop. Yeah. Pop that API key right in there. Happy days. And then I'm actually just going to turn this one off. Yep. Disable. Great, so I still have that one live. And then I want to go ahead and say that is towards my audience. Click on the audience that you're, you know, bothered about. Go to settings, audience name and defaults. Then go ahead and collect the particular ID straight from there. Pop that into that section. Save it. And then go ahead and deploy these changes. Now that should be perfectly fine in terms of working for us. So let's do that a quick, give that a quick test. Yep, I'm gonna just do that right now. I'm there. I'm going to go say V end and save five above plus likes at uh, five above at likes.com. Hopefully this should work out. Cool. Boom. We got that. And then if we go to our MailChimp over here and just refresh, we had one customer. We should have two contacts over here. Boom. There you go. So that's the other one that I added in. All right, so just a quick recap. Uh, we've got card working, we've deployed that, we're collecting email addresses, and those email addresses are going to the respective person's email, getting the verification, and then they're popping up over here. Now, what if I actually wanna get notified on a third party service when I actually get the subscriber coming in? Now, MailChimp will do that for you, they will email you, but I want to do to come through my Slack. So Zapier lets us do this. So Zapier is a fantastic tool that lets us go ahead and integrate two different softwares together, let them talk in an if, when this happens, please do this. So I set up a Zapier account very quickly. And then during the setup process, I pretty much said I'm interested in MailChimp and Slack. You should be able to do this, it's pretty straightforward. So as you can see, they actually come up with some templates for you, which is actually pretty great. So I want to go ahead and send a Slack notification for whenever I have a new uh, MailChimp subscriber. So I'm gonna say try it now. And then I'm pretty much going to go ahead and connect my APIs between um, MailChimp as well as my Slack. And then we shall see in live whenever I submit, we should get a notification directly. So I'm gonna just sign into my MailChimp over here. And I'm just gonna remember my password details. All right, so the login happened and I just selected my MailChimp account, which is very similar to you know the one I have over here, MailChimp VN, and I said continue. And pretty much the trigger is going to be whenever my audience gets new pieces of information, which is the one that I right have over there. So cool, that's that. Now, I don't want to test the trigger, but they're going to force us to do it. It's okay, we'll get that done. And then we'll say, yep, happy days, all good. Let's just continue on. And now I want to go ahead and send a Slack message. My Slack's already connected. I think it should be done. And I'm going to select at the channel I want to send to. So I'm going to say select a channel. And actually, no, I want to send a direct, yeah, I'll say select a channel and then we can see what uh, we can work with. So continue. It's going to ask me to sign in Slack. All right. So I send up into my Slack. Everything's good to go. I found the channel and I said, yep, just text message. Send it to me. We're saying, yep, you sign up. All that is pretty good. And I'm just going to click on continue. 
And what we're going to do is see that whenever we actually have a sign up, this actually works. I don't say test and continue, it doesn't review, I'm saying test and continue. And at this point, I'm going to turn on my zap and boom, we should be live. Now, what you're going to see me do is go ahead and have someone actually sign up over here. That'll pop up in my MailChimp and one that pops up in my MailChimp, it'll also get notified via Slack for us. All right, so I'm going to say test Slack over here and say Slack at 521.com.au. I have to put in an actual email addresses because, you know, just say bye love. I need to get my email verified. Otherwise, MailChimp would actually accept this person subscription. So as you can see, as I'm typing it in, we've automatically got a new sign up from um, one of the previous accounts. So I think they're delaying it over here and saying that Vibe Up Demo did that. But we've got another one coming up right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and confirm this particular person, which is you know, the information that I put in. And then once we just say subscribe, you probably can't see the screen right now. This is the screen I'm at. I'm just gonna say, yep, subscribe done that and then as you can see notified boom by before slack has gone ahead and shown up right there all right so what you just saw was part one of the video where we went ahead and created a website all together launched it connected it to MailChimp and we went ahead and connected to Zapier where we did an if this and that condition. So we got two different apps uh, talking to each other with no code at all. Now that was exciting, but what we're also gonna do in the next part, which is part two of this video, is go ahead and build the actual app, which is the Teenage app that we spoke about around budget finance management. All right, so if you've liked this video so far, if you're excited, you want to learn some more things that you want me to add in the next video, please feel free to you know, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want me to do in the next video because I'm gonna be dropping that very soon where we're gonna go ahead and build an entire app end to end without needing to write a single line of code and also deploying that to the iOS and Android app store. So excited again, thank you and I'll speak to you soon.